<laughs> I thought I was on live over Facebook. So hi, Instagram. Hey, Borderon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Let me just um, set up some music because, you know, I need to have some music. Can't do this without music. In the meantime, please feel free to let people know that I'm on. You know, you know. Hey, man, I'm good. What up with you? How's the family? How's everybody doing? So good to have you join me. Oh, Lord. I'm not sure if I want that, but okay. It's better than nothing. Hi. So, um... Why am I here today? Oh, welcome. I had to make notes so that I didn't go off on a tangent. So first I wanna welcome, if you're not here right now and you catch me on the replay, cause I may be competing with so many other lives and and um, uh, so many other people that may be doing lives and what have you. But, you know, I'm gonna leave this up so you can see the replay if you don't catch me live. So I wanted to come on first, welcome everybody for coming. Thank you for joining me. And then, let me turn this on a little bit. Hope it's not too loud. Um, and I want to thank everybody that's been supporting Shay's Corner so far in the purchasing of my Hope Masks. And, um, oh, that's good. Please give them my love. Uh, I saw that your daughter is now 17. That's crazy. Uh, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I wanted to thank everyone that supported me so far in purchasing uh, the masks that I've been making. I'm actually in production right now. There's a pre-phase. Um, it's another batch that I'm working on right now. And so, but wanted to take a moment to thank everyone that has supported me thus far and to tell you a little bit more about them and the reason why I even started doing them. Um, it was uh, it took me a minute to decide to make them and a bit of research because there's so many out there and so many um, patterns that the people were coming up with and I wanted to find one that worked best for me and for the people that I know would be buying them or even the ones that I don't I just try to think ahead of what a customer would want in a, in a product so one of the things that Hi, Sandra. Thank you for joining me. Please let everyone else know that I'm on because um, I haven't figured out yet how to, from the Shay's Corner page, how to invite people so um, or tag people. I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so yeah, I wanted to, thank you. <laughs> I wanted to, I did a lot of research, watched a lot of YouTube videos. Oh my goodness. So I finally came across one pattern that I felt was what would work for me. And on that pattern, it uh, included a, actually it didn't, I added that to it because I saw one nurse did it and she included a non-woven backing. And um, non-woven just means this is what a non-woven, this is a light one because I didn't want to make it too heavy because after all, you still need to breathe through it. So this is a non-woven uh, material and what it really means is that it's bonded together rather than weaves of threads. Um, it's, I'm using cotton fabric and how I constructed it is um, it has a nose, it has the uh, pocket for the nose wire. And I made it open on both ends so that you can remove it for washing purposes reason being is because the wire that I put in there is uh, called a pipe cleaner and this is what it looks like it comes in different colors um, so you know me I have to <laughs> kind of match the color as close as possible to the mask that I'm using so um, this is what it looks like and this is folded actually no this is what it looks like and I folded it three times 
uh, over so it can fit in the pocket and also to give it a little bit more rigidity. But at the same time, it's pretty bendable and pretty, um, it, it's, it adjusts really nicely so that it can mold to your nose to add to that um, closing of um, the space on your face. <laughs> the space on your face. <laughs> And Border Ryan, you should write a song about that, the space on your face. So um, I also decided to use a string rather than elastic because at the time, since everybody was making masks, um, the uh, availability of elastic became a little difficult. So people were coming up with different uh, ways of... Um, being able to tie the mask to your face so and the other thing that i kept hearing is that with extended wear the elastic after a while hurts um so i thought of you know how can it be comfortable and the best way to make it comfortable is to add um, a string to it that would make it so that you can adjust it to your comfort level now these are fabric and yes i make each one of them uh this is what it starts well it doesn't start out looking like this uh let's see if i can find one it starts out looking like a long piece of a one inch fabric and then i i iron it down to this and then I, uh, maybe this is too technical for some people that don't sew, but then I fold it and I, I stitch it so that it ends up this string. Now, the other thing I added to this was, even though it has a backing, a non-woven backing, I wanted to give everyone the, um, the choice of, what happened to my music? Why didn't somebody tell me my music stop? <laughs> uh, what happened? Anyway, I wanted to give everyone the choice of adding another filter. So there is a pocket that you can add another filter in it to, um, you know, make it a little bit more, uh, to make it safer, I guess, even though, uh, according to, this is not a, a N9, whatever the grade, the, um, whatever the, uh, medical grade is, this is not that. This is for your own personal protection, but I wanted to make it a little extra because I can be extra. <laughs> so the, uh, the additional pocket allows you to put an additional filter in it. And people have recommended like coffee filters and what have you. So the way this would be worn is from this side of the bottom side of the mask, this is loop. You make it a loop, put it over your head. And you can wear it like this if you don't feel like putting it on or, or when you don't, when you're in a position that you don't need to have it on your face. And just pull the string, adjust it up to your nose. And forgive me if you don't hear me, but I just want to demonstrate how it goes. And you put it over your face. Adjust, pull the string. You can put it over your ear if you want to. And tie it lower or you can just tie it up here and it my face is small so hopefully I don't know if it fits everybody this way but this is this is how it'll fit if you see the side and under here okay and that's it and you can adjust it accordingly and if you don't feel like having it on, if you if you in the car, you're running errands in the car, you can take it off. You know, it hangs on your on your neck like a necklace. And um, then when it's time, all you got to do is readjust it again, and, and you don't have to worry about fiddling it, fiddling with it if it's laying somewhere. Okay, so um, that's the demonstration and the explanation of how I made how I make my masks. Um, they are washable and I recommend that you take the, the wire out, which is why I made the open pocket so you can take the wire out and wash it. Um, especially when you first receive it. I am healthy at the moment, thank God, praise Him. Um, but you, you know, you never know. So when you receive your order, please 
wash it and I recommend that you hand wash it uh, or if you're going to throw it in the washing machine put it in like your lingerie bag and throw it in there and you can air dry it and if you decide to put it in the washing machine um, I mean in, uh, in the dryer put it on, on low heat okay so I wanted also to send a message with my mask so I put a dove on the side of it I don't know if you can see it the light is a little bright I put a dove um, on there with the branch and I call initially when that idea came to me was I thought about um, I thought about why does it say silent can you all hear me over on Facebook can you hear me on Facebook uh, can you do give me a thumbs up or something let me know can you hear me um, so the reason uh, I thought of, of the uh, Noah's Ark and when the rain was over and he sent the dove out to find out if there was land and when um, the dove finally came back with a branch indicating that, you know, the flood was over. But then I came across Jeremiah 29 11 that talks about, okay, thank you that talks about, and I'm going to paraphrase because I don't know it by heart, but talks about, um, um, and why is it just left my brain right now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the plans that I have for you, the prosper you. Um, and you know, you can look it up, Jeremiah 29, 11. And, um, I just think that in these times, uh, with a lot of us, and I know a lot of people, including myself, know many people that have suffered loss and, uh, my condolences to everyone and it's, it's a strange time and I'm not going to subscribe to saying that it's a new normal because that means that it, that's what it's going to become and I'm not subscribing to wearing these all the time for years so I'm going to say it's a temporary normal and this will be done soon God willing and um, so this just indicates hope and that there is hope that things will get better and we need to be hopeful and have faith that it will be so. And so that was my inspiration for the Dove and that's why I call them Hope Masks. And that is basically, hi Karen, nice to see you join me. And that is basically, um, that's basically what it's about. And so when you go onto the website, uh, www.shaysecorner.com, you will see the mask immediately they're at the bottom of the, of the site and you can go on there and place your order there are several styles there are some prints and there are some solid colors the solid colors i put them all in one so when you click on when you click on the solid color image it will give you the options of all the colors that are available and i believe there's seven colors available um, there is black, red, brown, navy blue, royal blue. Um, uh, that's five, and I'm missing two. But in any event, when you go, oh, green, and I'm missing one more. Um, but when you go on the, re the website, you will see the colors that are available. Um, just wanted to point out that the solid colors are under one image so when the image that's there that says solid colors you click on that and you will see all of the colors that are available and then there is this one that I'm calling a light yellow um, design that is a category by itself and I have some prints um, that are also uh, uh, I list them in a group and um, this is one of the prints that is available. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm working on another batch, and this is one of the batches that I'm working on. And um, yeah, that's that's about it. I didn't want to stay on long. It's been 15 minutes, um, and I know there's probably other. Hi, Sister Jackie. Thank you for joining me. I know there's probably other uh, things taking place, other lives and what have you. So I didn't want to be long, but I wanted to come on and say hi. Uh, thank you uh, to those that have ordered for me so far. It's really been great. Uh, I wanted to shout out, um, I was hoping she would come on. Her name is Andrea, and these earrings are from her. 
these earrings are from her um, business. She has a, um, she's going to be on tonight, as a matter of fact, at, hi, there she is, Lanise. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, Lanise Accessories. So see, I'm wearing one of my goodies. Hi, I'm wearing one of, I wanted to um, wear one of them today. They are, I'm, I'm really loving them. I love the, I, I love them. I'm not going to try to explain. Y'all can see what they look like. <laughs> so she's going to be on tonight at uh, 9 o'clock. <laughs> yes, perfect timing because I just started to talk about them. Um, she's going to be on at 9 o'clock. So check her out on Facebook. And, um, you know, she has some really great stuff. I, I, I Yeah, she has some really great stuff. And, and I love earrings. And so... These are a set that I ordered from her. Uh, hi, hi, Lalitia. So good to see you. Congratulations. <laughs> um, so yeah, so check her out at nine o'clock. And um, I have some more goodies that I got from her. And everything that she sells except for some specially priced ones are $5. They're lead and nickel free and all that good jazz. And she will go through it. So yes, 9 p.m. tonight. So check her out on um and i'm going to be on there with her so i'm uh, meaning i'm going to be on and i'll share her information so y'all can join her so again i just want to thank everybody for so far purchasing the masks um it's been even before i advertise them um i've had some of my customers just reach out to me to ask me if i was making them so um i'm really blessed by that and i really really appreciate it that means that tells me that they appreciate my work and they appreciate um um, the products that I sell and um, these are not they take a minute I've developed a process so that I could crank them out a little a little longer but I a little faster I should say but I have um, made sure that the fabric that I'm using is you know good quality and basically to be honest with you I have to give you a moment of transparency transparency I, before this whole thing hit, um, I'm a little bit of a collector, meaning that I will go to the fabric store or I'll go to the, um, uh, like Michael's uh, craft stores and whatever, and I'll see things and I think, oh, maybe I could use this and I'll buy it. So I did that. Hi. So I did that with fabrics and so I had all these ideas. Um, some of you know that I make, um, hankies, I make lap cloths. So I would see fabrics and I'm like, okay, I'm going to make these and, and, you know, make some lap cloths with these. And uh, I bought the fabrics and found out later that most of the people like the satin fabric. They like the, the, the fancy, pretty, uh, I was thinking functional, but they like the fancy, pretty, shiny fabric, which is the satin fabric. So the cotton fabric was just sitting there and I was about to sell them. I was going to sell the fabric on either eBay or Amazon or um, Etsy, wherever. And then this thing hit. And for a few weeks, again, moment of transparency, I, I did absolutely nothing. Nothing. I didn't feel like doing anything. I just pretty much vegged out and... I don't know, I'm not going to call it or name whatever it was that I was going through, but I was not feeling like doing anything. Um, but I continued to watch, uh, shout out to my church, Tabernacle of Praise, and my pastor, Bishop Eric D. Garns, um, that started every Thursday having an one hour, I'm going to call it hour of power, praise and worship um, session. I, you know, I'm not sure what the, the, the actual title is, but on Thursday nights at 7 o'clock, um, and even feeling the way I was feeling, I would still tune in and watch um, and listen to the testimonies and um, listen to the word and what everyone brought to the plate at that moment for whatever week it was. And, um, you know, I started gaining my, you know, home. I had made the masks for my family, for my immediate family, my dad, my brother, my sisters, their families, because we, we don't live far from each other. So I made masks for them and myself, but I hadn't thought about making them to sell them. Um, I honestly, you know, I don't know. 
I don't even, I can't even say how I was feeling, but or explain it, I should say. But then one of my customers uh, texted me and said, "Are you making masks?" And I said, "Yeah." And she said, "Well, how much?" And that just sparked. It just lit a spark in me. And I just came down to my work studio, pulled out all of that cotton fabric that I was going to sell. <laughs> and that's what I've been using to make the masks that I have been make, making so far. And I've sold quite a bit. That's how much fabric I've had. Um, and again, like I explained before, I've used, I'm using um, fabric ties because at the time, elastic was becoming or had become... Uh, scarce and it was difficult to get it now you can shipping is a little delayed but you can still you can you can get it so um, at some point I may offer the option because some people may still want to have the elastic I don't know I have one customer that um, um, special ordered a dozen and a half yeah a dozen and a half for her daughter and uh, she wanted the elastic so that's that's what I, I did. I gave her elastic because I was able to secure some and have it done in time. So now I have uh, so now I have some, some elastic. So I will at some point maybe make it a choice. I still think that the fabric tie is a better choice for comfort and for adjustability purposes. Um, you all can let me know you know give me give me some feedback I, I would appreciate it um, but the feedback I've gotten so far um, it's been really really good there was one lady that she used to be a seamstress a friend of mine her mom was a seamstress and she sent me the the nicest note just to let me know how much she appreciated the workmanship on the on the masks and she actually called it perfect <laughs> I don't know if I would say they're perfect because you know I find little things that on it but but they are well made I make sure I do do uh, I do do <laughs> I do uh, check them to make sure the seams are tight and you know there aren't a little you know a bunch of little threads and so on and so forth so again thank you to everyone that have purchased my hope masks uh, I will I do offer personalization I can personalize let me say that I can personalize it by perhaps adding your initials if you want the space on it is limited I don't I wouldn't put anything on it across it would either be on um, on the side that is empty and that space may be about um, maybe about two inches I want to say uh, I would say yeah about two and a half about two and a half inches worth of space that I could probably put something on there if you'd want to have your initials or you know a saying whatever that's the crux of my business is is personalizing so I should be able to add that in there but again I think that's about it uh, I um, there's not a whole lot of people on but thank you for those that did join me if you have any questions for me I would be happy to take any questions it is uh, just about eight o'clock and so uh, again I didn't want to be on here too long but I did want to come on and say give a, a general thank you to everyone that supported Chase Corner so far with my hope masks and um, you can still go to the website and check out all of the other things that I have on there. Um, my website, again, is uh, www.shacecorner.com. And on all social media, it's Shace Corner. Uh, I think on Facebook, it's Shace Corner 127. On Instagram, it's Shace Corner. On um, Twitter, it's Shace Corner. Pinterest, is Shace Corner. Uh, I even have an Etsy account, but that's don't go looking for anything to buy on, on Etsy right now. I don't have anything on there. So I see people are coming in now and I'm about to end. Oh my gosh. Just watch the replay. I will leave it. I will, you know, let it stay up so you can hear me rambling about the, um, thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hear me rambling about the mass. But again, like I said, I'm in production. I'm working on another batch. So, um, I should have a few more available um, 
just to make sure I don't want to overwhelm myself because like I said I am making these and it's just me I don't have any assistance especially during this time uh, I have no assistance so I'm doing the cutting and the sewing all of that by myself um, and glad too because it keeps me uh, busy it keeps me uh, motivated it keeps me uh, creative uh, and all that good stuff so where is my African print who is that who is because I'm blessed I'm sorry I can't see your I can't see your your please identify yourself <laughs> I am working on some African print actually this is one that I'm working on right now uh, this is another one that I'm working on right now. Hey, Bonita, it's in the mail, honey. You should be getting it. You should be getting it soon. So let me know when you get it. Let me know when you get Oh, thank you. Uh, that actually just reminds me. There are two shipping options. Uh, if you want to get tracking, you would need to choose the um, priority shipping option. That is a little bit more expensive. I'm sure you realize. If you get regular mail, then you have to wait until it gets there. But honestly, I, I have uh, between, well, anyway, between now here and Brooklyn, it, it takes a couple of days. I shouldn't say a couple of days, maybe three, four days. It's not uh, a long, long time. So um, that was another option. Oh, yes. Africa. Oh, you, you know what? I also have to apologize. Here I thought I was giving my regular customers a jump. Everyone that signed up to my mailing list. I sent an email because I wanted to give them a head start before I let everyone else in the world know. And I thought I was doing them a service. And I must apologize because at the time, I only had two designs ready to go. Because I didn't want you to wait for me to make it and then send it. I wanted to be able to have it ready, just put it in the envelope and send it out to you. Because I, like I said, mail is probably already kind of slow. So thinking that I was doing them a favor, I actually... Didn't because then when I released the other colors and patterns, I was like, Oh, someone so really likes blue, and now Sister Jackie, you like African, and I did not even think about it. So, if you if, if you would like one, send me an email, send me an email, and, and we'll see what we can do. How about that? So, if you're not on my mailing list, please join my mailing list. You can join my mailing list from my website. Or from my Facebook page, I'm not sure how to do it from Instagram yet, but from my Facebook page, you could definitely um, join my mailing list. And uh, then things like that would happen where you get a head jump on um, a head jump. Does that make sense? No, a jump start <laughs> uh, before I announce whatever I have going on to the general public. And... Um, there was something else I wanted to say, but just like that, I forgot. Hey, <laughs> if I remember before I end the broadcast, I would say it. If not, I would add it to the comments on the Facebook, um, on the, actually both. It, it, once I remember what it is, I will add it. So yes, there are a few more available and I actually, uh, was able to, hi Judy was able to secure some more fabric. That's the other thing that is scarce. I want to try to buy some different, um, uh, maybe patterns or color fabric. And it's unbelievable because everybody is making masks. And so I was able to find this one. Yeah, let me know what you think about that. I think it's really cool. I got this and, um, I, got where is it I got this which is I think it's really pretty when I saw the picture of it it was I wasn't sure uh, but now looking at it in person it's really nice so I haven't cut anything out of these fabrics yet I want to kind of finish what I have um, or at least get to a good 
decent amount of stock because I don't want you I don't want you to wait for me to um, I don't want to wait I don't want you to wait on the mail I don't want you to wait for me to make it and then mail it I want to have it ready so that once you choose what you want I could just mail it to you um, I'm going to invite Judy she wants to be on so we're gonna we're gonna bring her on um, so before I even said anything to anybody I just started making the masks hi Judy <laughs> I, I just started making them and I wanted to have a good amount ready to go when I started to announce it so so as I do have some already ready to go I'm still working on other batches so hi Judy how, how are you doing today great good 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 what's new nothing no sitting here working on a puzzle I have orders, but I don't feel like doing anything right now. <laughs> so I'm working on a puzzle. Okay. I am actually live on Facebook and on Instagram. <laughs> I, I, I thought you realized that that's what it was. <laughs> she left. Just like that. Okay, this is what happens when you do things live. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> uh, okay, so does anyone have any questions for me? I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover, and I don't know what happened to my music. I'm so so. Uh, I'm so sorry about that. Um, oh. Um. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions? that you would like to ask me. Um, thumbs ups and hearts are appreciated. Uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> I know, Judy. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> do, do, do we have any questions? Any questions whatsoever? You can ask me anything. I'm not saying I would answer anything, but you could ask me. Hey, Nick. Yes, thank you for the hearts. Again, oh, I, I didn't say at the beginning, for those of you that do not know who I am, my name is Shayla Williams. I'm owner, op operator of Shay's Corner, and I am an apparel decorator. I normally do t-shirts such as this one. This is my business t-shirt. So if you have a business and you are looking for um, having your logo or... Um, on, the, on, on apparel for your business, let me know and, uh, you know, contact me via email, shayscorner at gmail.com or info at shayscorner.com. You can look me up on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everything is Shays Corner except for Facebook, which is Shays Corner 127. Um, y yes, my masks are different. Um, than most that I've seen um, being sold. And oh, the price is $12, which I think is uh, affordable and um, and probably you're getting more for your buck than what most people are selling. Uh, there's plenty of people out there that are selling them and uh, you know, not to knock anybody's hustle, but mine and, are different in the fact that, and I said this at the beginning, but I'll say it again for those that just joined me, What's the difference? Sorry, I know. Yes, the, the difference is I have a, a casing for the nose wire and, and it's open at both ends so that you can remove it for washing purposes. The reason that is, is because the wire may rust. This is the type that I'm using. They call it, they call it pipe cleaners. They call it pipe cleaners. And honestly, this is something I never knew about that existed. And I see it, it's, it's, I bought it from a craft store and when the package came, it had, um, it had these, this picture, which are things that people make with these pipe wires. But for my purposes there, I use them. I fold them in three. I use one and it's folded in three so that it can fit in here. It makes it a little bit more rigid, but at the same time, you are still able to bend it. You can bend it and uh, mold it to your nose 
so that it is nice and snug on there. What I also do um, is I make it with a non-woven fabric. If there's a backing on on the mask on the uh, on the cotton on the back of it is a non-woven fabric, and the non-woven fabric where is it? What did I do with it? Looks like this. And what makes it non-woven is that it's it's um, bonded together. It's not threads that are woven between like the cotton is. So that's why, and if you look at some of what, oh, okay, I lost Facebook for a minute. Okay, we're back. Um, they recommended, like for the filters that they recommended, the coffee filter, that's non-woven. So I put this already on the mask. That's in the, in the backing of it. So that's, that's the backing. But I also add another pocket I also have another pocket that you can put an additional filter in it if you would like. Uh, you don't have to, but you, you have the option of doing it. Um, the other thing which I forgot to say at the beginning is the casing for the string is, if you don't want to use the string, you can remove it and put the elastic because the casing is open so that you can not only move the, the string back and forth uh, to adjust it on your face, but you can remove it if you would prefer the elastic and put the elastic in it. I also earlier demonstrated how you put this on. So I'm going to do it again. So you pull, you pull the string all the way down so it can fit over your head. You pull it over your head and you pull the string up to put it on your nose. And forgive me if you can't have to get closer to make sure you can hear me. Let me know if you can't hear me. And you pull, you put it on your nose. You adjust the pipe cleaner. You pull this up, you tie it, you can tie it up here, or you can pull it over your ear and tie it in the back like so. If you could see that. You could see that? Can you see that? So it comes all the way up to your face. My face is small, so, and it covers on the bottom. I have a small face, so, um, I don't know that it's going to fit everyone the same way, but this is an adult size. And I also put the measurements on the website so that you could see what it measures. And the measurements go from here to here, which is about 10 inches. So if you, you measure, take a tape measure. For those that may not know what a tape measure is, that this is a tape measure. Um, and you measure from here to here. And mine is just about 10 inches. So you measure from here to here, and from here to here, you would see, you know, how, how it'll fit you. Fit you. If not, just trust me, it, it'll fit you. <laughs> so that's how you wear the mask. And again, the nose wire is uh, flexible and adjustable, and I also recommend that you wash it when you receive it. You can hand wash it. I have a round face, and it fit. Oh, you got yours already? You got yours? Oh, amazing. Yay. <laughs> yes, thank you. Amazing. Wonderful. Because I think I just put that in the mail not that long ago. See, I said um, regular mail works pretty well. So that is the difference between mine and, and others. And the other big difference, I think this is the biggest difference of all, is that I call mine Hope Masks. And I explained earlier why I do that and that it has... The dove on there that represents hope that represents hope for me and the reason why uh, is I remember Noah's ark and and I also go to the uh, book of Jeremiah in chapter 29 verse 11 where it talks about um, the plans that I have that the Lord has for us is to prosper us and somewhere in there it talks about hope <laughs> I, I don't know it by heart I am gonna learn it though I'm because uh, because it's really hit um, it's really hit uh, close to home knowing that that scripture and when um, it uh, was laid to my heart to use that scripture to represent hope. All right. So, oh, awesome. You got it today. So here um, on one of on on my live is one of my customers, one of my supporters. She's, you know, been supporting me for a while. She got she got some, I think one or two of my T-shirts 
and um, now she ordered the mask and she said that she has a for those on Instagram those on Facebook can see what she said but those on Instagram said that she has a round face and it fits her perfectly so oh I did forget to mention I do have uh, youth sizes ages 7 to 12 at the moment though I only have uh, I only have them available in the color brown and I only have about 13 of them available because I wasn't sure if that was going to be something that people would be buying uh, for their children. So, or how many people that I sell to have children. But if that becomes a request, then of course I will definitely um, accommodate you. And uh, yeah, that's it. If again, if you're new to uh, my live and you've never seen me ever before in your entire life, if this is the first time you've seen me, my name is Shayla Williams. I'm the owner operator of Shay's Corner, Shay's Corner, right here, and uh, I'm an apparel uh, apparel decorator. I do T-shirts, hats, bags, you name it. Uh, I work with individuals as well as businesses. If you have a business and you want your logo represented on apparel just contact me and we will work something out um i did also mention that i can um customize and uh, personalize i just decided to do that there would be an additional fee for that of course but if you would like to just hit me up and let me know we'll work it out and take it from there and i've been on longer than i wanted to <laughs> But it's all good. It's been a while uh, since I did a live. And um, I've been encouraged to come back on. So here I am. Thank you so much again for everyone that is uh, decided to join me today. And I would leave this up. So please share it with your family, friends, uh, co-workers, whomever. Um, that, that, that'd be off amazing. Share. Caring is sharing. Sharing is caring. And let's see, I think that's about it. Unless anybody has any questions for me, um, that will be great. Any thumbs ups and hearts? Thumbs ups and hearts are appreciated. And I apologize for the music. Um, I actually have a theme song. Oh, I would say this now, um, but look out for in the near, well, I don't say in the near future because I have to work at it but I am also working on a YouTube channel <laughs> Yay! so I would let you all know and of course if you're on my mailing list you would know first I am working on a YouTube channel and my plan is to not only talk about what I do in Chase Corner and have some demonstrations but I also would like to address um, other small business owners and maybe give some tips and as to how I got started and things that I've learned along the way especially when it comes to doing vending events yes I know girl I'm trying <laughs> I, I am I'm trying to 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 get moving with this with this stuff and so those are some of the things off the top of my head that I'm planning to address on my YouTube channel. I'm setting it up. It's almost there. I just want to work on figuring out this video thing and this editing thing and, you know, whatever I would need to do to get it up and running and, and have, um, you know, have this information out. I'm also working on a tips book or pamphlet I don't know what you would call it but I'm working on something like that because I know that I've shared many tips or things that I've done or, or I've had other vendors ask me where did you get this where did you get that how did you do this how did you do that so I decided to um, start to put it all in writing put it in black and white <laughs> which is the fun part is the fun part editing or is the fun part taping because I don't know. I may need to have like a session with you for you to give me some tips and tricks on how to do it. But yeah, so there's a few things that I've been working on. And this is before this whole pandemic hit. So um, it did hit one of my other sources of income, which I lost. So, um, you know, it's, it's, I'm not going to complain though, because I'm blessed. I'm in a situation where I've, I, I can't, I'm lacking nothing. And uh, so I, um, 
I'm grateful. I am grateful, thankful. So I pray that you are all well, that your families are well. Uh, I thank you again for joining me today and um, hopefully I'll do it again soon. I'm not going to promise because I will be busy sewing <laughs> and no, I am not a seamstress. So don't, don't, don't come to me asking me to make you a dress, a skirt, a pant, or a shirt, or anything like that. If you have it make and you, made and you want some embroidery on it or you want some printing on it, I'm your girl, but I'm not going to make it. Yes, I am. Highly favored. <laughs> All right, guys. Again, thank you so much. I appreciate your time because uh, I know even though we're home, doesn't mean that, you know, we're not doing other things. So I appreciate your time and um, take care. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>